Rob Longley and Mike Zeisberger here uh, where Maple Leaf practice has just wrapped up at the MasterCard Centre. And Mike, what we thought would be a fairly quiet practice heading into tomorrow's game in Columbus turned into be full of all kinds of news. First of all, Joffrey Lupo left the ice uh, after getting a foot on the, on the, on the, on the uh, sorry, a puck on the foot. Uh, kind of ticked off his coach. He was, he's a little concerned that these, his players aren't wearing the proper protection. And Nikolai Kuleman had the same kind of injury earlier in the year. And then the coach dropped another bombshell on us after that injury that Morgan Riley, his audition is over. He's going to stay with the Maple Leafs. Well, and, you know, I thought we suspected it, but they didn't even wait for him to play in Columbus tomorrow night. Uh, they made that decision. And you know what, Rob? I mean, you look at the composure that this kid plays with and that he acts with off the ice. What was he going to learn more in junior? I mean, I'm not somebody that usually pushes 19-year-olds to be in this league, but this kid has passed every test so far, and I think what they think is their coaching staff can develop him better than any junior coaching staff could. Yeah, Carlisle didn't come out and, and say that exactly that, but he certainly implied it. I mean, the kid doesn't act like a 19-year-old on the ice. He's played with a lot of poise. He's playing, you know, really between 15 and 20 minutes a night. And more so off the ice, he's acting like a professional already. You and I talked to a number of players afterwards, and they're saying, yeah, this kid knows his place, he's respectful of others, he's obviously got a great attitude, and this is the place for him to be. He's only going to get better here. Who knows what would happen if he went back to Moose Jaw and, and stagnated. One of the things Riley talked about afterwards was the uh, prospect of finding a roommate. Uh, I, was, I was pretty excited, obviously. You know, it's, it's, it's a pretty good feeling. But, uh, he, again, I have to keep working hard, keep trying to get better, and... Um, but, you know, it's obviously pretty nice to hear that. I'm not sure. I'm probably a young guy. We'll see. I don't want to live with any old guys. So, <laughs> so those are two stories. Lupul Hurt, we don't know the status of him. I mean, presumably he's going to be looked uh, at later today. Riley's sticking. And then we've got David Clarkson making his return to the NHL after that 10-game suspension. What do you expect from him tomorrow night in Columbus, Mike? Well, it's going to be interesting because... It, he's an emotional player, and we saw, you know, he was so excited um, against the Buffalo Sabres in the preseason. That's when he came off the bench. That's when he got his 10-game suspension. So on one hand, you're saying, you know, you're using the cliche, he's got to play within himself. But at the same time, that's not the way that David Clarkson plays. So to me, one of the most intriguing parts of the game tomorrow night against Columbus is where does he draw the line? Because he has to play physical. This team has had problems cycling the puck, and he's very, very key ingredient to their cycle and physical play. Yeah, we should mention, too, that uh, in practice today, it doesn't mean it'll necessarily be this way in the game tomorrow, but he was on a line with another new Leaf, David Bolin, and Mason Raymond, all new Leafs on that line, and a very intriguing line at that. Obviously, you have the, uh, the speed and finesse of, of Raymond and then the, and then the grittiness of, of Bolin and Clarkson, which to me would make a pretty, pretty uh, neat line to watch in action, especially in a road game and especially with uh, Clarkson about to get his feet under him. So again, an eventful day here at the MasterCard Center for the Maple Leafs. Off to Columbus on Friday, and then return home for a big game against the Penguins on Saturday night. For the Toronto Sun, I'm Rob Longley with Mike Zeisberger.